in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And this is Twist Gaming, and you are watching Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster, where you find folks watching at home, control one of the characters, vote in some polls, roll some dice, make awful decisions, eat some bugs, and most importantly, get me killed. I also like an iron bars. Uh, more informative, entertaining than the State of the Union. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, so first and foremost, Josh, what happened last episode on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? Uh, we fought the Manhunter. And how'd that go? Beat his butt. We did. We did. Uh, so out of the woods with the Nemesis fight, uh, which are extra dangerous because this is a People of the Sun campaign. Yes. Uh, and we are, again, hunting another Dung Beetle Knight. We're trying to get ourselves a set of rolling armor, and before we go any further, I would like to point out that this stream and all of this week's streams are brought to you by Asmati Games with 1001 Odysseys, now live on Kickstarter. I'm going to throw that up in chat. If you haven't had the opportunity, make sure that you go back and watch our first impression session and our spotlight stream of 1001 Odysseys. It's a ton of fun. Definitely a game that uh, we're going to be playing again. Yeah. And shame on you if you weren't here yesterday, because you guys got to play along it was and help us steal a ship. Kind of our first interactive spotlight. Yeah, it was really cool. I want to do more like that. Uh, did we bury the previous regenerating blade? Not yet. I don't yet. believe. Um, so the other final things is that this is a People of the Twitch variant of People of the Sun, so you can redeem your salt in the Stream Element Store to interact with the stream, and that's everything from naming survivors to creating fighting arts and settlement events. And uh, then the final thing is you can interact with the stream further with some of the KDM tips that we have. So if you want to get bug patches to eat, if you want to re-roll some dice, if you want to buff the monster, if you want to debuff Josh uh, to your heart's content, make jo give Josh 12 plus one speed tokens. That, that's an option as well. Uh, you can interact with the stream that way. We only have a singular bug patch on the board, and that comes default with the Dung Beetle Knight. Uh, but without any further ado, Josh, is there any other setup that we need before we can begin on the hunt? I think we are good to go. Let's leave this train station. I do need one thing, though. All right. I need some magic to do the board cam. Choo-choo! I'll accept that it. That was really delayed. Yeah, it was. It was a slow train. So we are fighting a level two Dung Beetle Knight today, so this, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, Twitch, you guys are playing Come as... Come on the ride of the pain train. Yeah. Twitch, Hopefully. you're playing as Raman Freeman, so you are playing as the monster here. So you've got seven accuracy, 12 strength, six luck. I'm sorry, six evasion, two luck, one speed. You've got two armor to each hit location. Uh, you've got bug harvester, abyssal sadist, and fencing fighting arts. And you're fighting with the kitty go bonk hammer. That's the riot mace. You've also got a luck charm. Your weapon's deadly, and you've got a sleeping virus flower. So you've got five luck altogether. So you are going to be destroying things. I'm playing as Tarhana Korbasi, uh, kind of a newbie. I've got the Hope Stealer, so she's going to be dead at the end of this. I've also got a full Screaming Armor set. Josh, who are you playing as this evening? I'm playing as the original OG Ramen. Uh, five accuracy, ten strength, three evasion, two luck, and one speed. Uh, he's thrown around the Ripblade, um, so that's also an extra luck. Uh, it's deadly. So we're at three luck. Thank you, Narfalik. Yeah, our armor does suck. Um... So, yeah, I crit on a 7+. plus. Uh, no luck charm on him, but he does have the Flower Knight badge. He's at plus 1 evasion, so he's got 4 evasion. And a set of leather armor with shield. Nice. Actually, he's not wearing the leather head ma ha mask. He's wearing the Manhunter hat because ah. he's badass. That makes sense. And then last up, we have French Onion, who's wearing rawhide armor, has our wonderful Wisdom Potion, and a uh, Plus Protein Bow. Awesome. Uh, they also do have a claw head arrow, so they give one minus one evasion token to the monster. They are carrying a luck charm, so they have one, two, three luck. Okay. So seven plus as well for them. All like right. Crit. So I think we are ready to begin. The last thing that I wanted to say is that uh, we are 
doing giveaways throughout the stream here. So you see the little boss battle we've got at the bottom of the stream. Uh, whenever we kill a boss, we do a giveaway. You can now kill yourself. Yay! Uh, but boss, you don't heal yourself when you uh, tip. You will do damage, but you can make yourself the boss again if you beat yourself. So more opportunities to win because whoever is the boss at the end of the stream when we do a giveaway gets a free item no matter what. So I'm going to go first. Josh, you're going to go second and third, and Twitch is going to go fourth. Are you ready to begin? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. So first up, we've got a random hunt event. So first and foremost, chat, I need you to do your thing, and I need you to do the exclamation mark roll command so we can get a D108 roll. And again, it's a 108 because we're adding some extra things in from the stream element store. And Narbari does not have faith in us. Narbari thinks Mantra's going to win. Oh, I mean, it might not be a bad bet. The Dung Beetle Knight is extraordinarily hard. Um, did I not hit the roll button? I don't, don't see it. Maybe, maybe I have it hidden, though. That is a possibility. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, it's hidden. Okay, it's hidden. Um, no bugs, no rerolls, no hope. And they're on the forty. Where's the forty? Uh, I think it reset because I. Uh, so it was a forty. It was a forty. So Josh, what's a forty? Um, that's a number. Uh, that's a forty. It starts with a four and then goes with zero. Uh, quote forty is: I'm going to aim with my thing, Josh. <laughs> All right. So it is Dream, the event revealer, that's me, dreams of the upcoming hunt. They stand before the great beast, weapon ready, but it strikes them down. If the event revealer has three plus courage, nope. Or if any survivor is a savior, nope. Uh, otherwise, suffer one brain event damage. Okay. So I'm going to take a brain damage. I get a check. I get a check. No, no, no. Just me. Or just you? Just me. Uh, so Josh, please reduce my insanity by one. Uh, so, technically, well, hold on a second. Technically, I don't get any of my insanity until arrival. So I technically get a check mark here. Okay. So I have zero insanity, but I'll get four on arrival. All right. All right. So yes, we are fighting a level two DBK today. So that we're gonna move on and and Josh, your first character is up next. So this is gonna be Ramen. So we've got the rolling fertilizer. You notice an unusual amount of insects and plant life. If it isn't already on the hunt board, add herb gathering hunt event to any other space. At the start of the showdown, the monster gains a plus one damage token. Oh, yay. Yay. But we get some herbs. Herbs. And then we still need to roll a random hunt event. Uh, so chat, please roll a random hunt event. And Josh, please place the herb gathering. Peaches and herb. Where is the herb gathering? I don't know. You lost it. Uh, is it in your stack of hunt? Yep. There's a special hunt event card right here. Oh. oh it got stuck in the deck. All right. It got shuffled. Thank you, Josh. From last time we did this. And they rolled a 42. Josh, what's a 42? Uh, the meaning of life and everything. A creek surgeon. A creaky carriage approaches the survivors, richly appointed in red and gold. The carriage is carved on every side with lurid faces. A massive twitching eye adorns the front, while the door of the carriage is a waiting open mouth. Out of the small window, a gnarled hand beckons. One survivor with three-plus courage may choose to enter the wagon. They remove one impairment or severe injury and gain one random disorder. I'm going to do it. Oh, you're the only one that can do it. Oh, I have Matt's luck, too, so I don't want it. Uh, I'm going in there. All I right. realized Ramen yeah. is missing his penis. Destroy genitals? Yes. Ah. He's going he's gonna to get uh, you, a new one. So what does that do, the destroyed genitals? Um, I think it means you can't reproduce. So technically, Ramen Free would have the babies of everyone. Not okay. Ramen because... That's fine. Uh, so quote 42 is, I want to take a dump on your head. That's good. That or I can fix my blindness. But I think I already have... Are five natural accuracy. Are you already hit, you're already hitting on a two plus with accuracy? Yeah. So like, I think I'm good. All right. So you need a random disorder though, right? Yes. Okay. So chat, please give me a random disorder. So OG Ramen's getting a new penis. <laughs> a new stamen. Uh, new and improved. New and imported. Uh, Maelstrom pulled controlophobia while you are monster controller. Double any damage you suffer. Ouch. Oh, man, hypersensitivity was next. That would have been nice. You take away your no crits, though. So uh, I had Matt's luck, which was plus one accuracy oh. and damage when you were monster controller. So it's 
Yeah. All right. About the same. So then we're going to progress forward. We're going to go... And did you get anything else from that 42? Uh, remove one... Okay, so that's fine. So then, uh, this is going to be your second character, Josh. Okay. And you've got the sudden rumbling in your tumbly. You hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball rolling right towards you. Roll a d10. Is the result equal to or lower than your courage? Uh, no, it's higher than my courage. I have no courage. So you dive away. Roll a d10. Five. Uh, the ball clips you. Suffer two event damage to your arms. Oh, no, it's my arms. All right. So that goes away. And then we're going to move on the hunt board. So, Josh, do you want to do the sound effects this time? Can I get coconuts for riding horses? You could. Uh, so then it's going to be Twitch, and Twitch, you need to roll a random hunt event. So, chat, you know the drill. Exclamation mark roll or click on the button from the extension so that you can see what hunt event we're going to do. Josh, what hunt event do you think we're going to do? Uh, 44, if we're going the same order we've been going in. I'm going to say 79. 96. 96. Josh, what's a 96? Uh, four less than 100. Is. So a 96 is... Really far in the book. A uh, 96 quote is, I can't get it in the butt. <sighs> okay. So, uh, 96 is Cloaked Stranger. I believe this is Zenith's favorite hunt event. Really? A random tidbit. He gave me, he said, look at hunt event 96. That's, that's one of my favorites. That's cool. A cloaked form steps out from a patch of darkness ahead of the survivors. Its ill-fitting garment shifts atop its form, and its trudging leaves dark black puddles in the mouths of the rain-slick stone on the ground. The event revealer approaches the stranger and rolls a d10. So, uh, chat, that's you. Roll a d10. Let's see what we get here. Uh, nine plus would be nice here. And they rolled a, a four. four. So a four is the stranger ripples in and out of focus as you approach. When you reach them, they are gone. Their form impossible to remember. Gain one bleeding token and forget a fighting art of your choice. This is our Raman Freeman. So your three fighting arts that you can lose are either Abyssal Sadist, Fencing or Bug Harvester. That's tough. That's really tough. I guess Abyssal Sadist. Abyssal Sadist is so good, though. It is. I would almost, like, I would almost say Fencing. But I wouldn't say Fencing. There's only one wrong choice. Someone could, could tip for a reroll. That that is true. We could potentially re-roll that as well because there's some nice options on here. Nine plus would be amazing. Uh, but right <coughs> now they get a bleed. So yes, they're gonna get a bleed token. Okay, one bleed. Give it out to Ramond. I I don't know what I would get rid of here. We don't have any rules. Someone would have to. Uh, the opposite. <laughs> yeah, there's there's actually no character re-rolls on here. I don't think. Nope. There, I might have one. Nope. I don't. I give you someone that already is a reroll. Oh well, shit. Because they're gonna die. So. Yeah. So we've we've got no rerolls here. Um, I guess abyssal sadist because fencing's gonna come in handy. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get rid of abyssal sadist. Boop. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of that. And I need some more music, Josh. Okay, that's awful. All right. Chat, roll another D108. Only once, not twice. Nah, get rid of fencing. It'll totally be fine. Dark, I, I don't know if I trust you today. I know you were a team player last week. Just wait for the fight, like, right before the fight to start, and he's going to tip, like, 100 bucks to give the monster, like, plus four lock tokens. Plus four speed tokens. 76. 76. Or plus four accuracy. Isn't really that what you nasty. said before, or did you say 79? 79, I said. Uh, 76 is dream the way the survivors have vivid fevered visions of what lies ahead all at once they are startled awake and frantically compared the horrors that they saw each survivor rolls a d10 uh, if any survivor is a savior no survivor is a savior 
if any survivors roll the same. I got an eight, a three, and you got a nine. Okay. So, chat, don't roll those. Maybe. I don't know. They roll the five. So, we all have different numbers. Yep. Uh, so, if any survivors, they gain one. If any duplicate, so nothing happens. Okay. We just have a dream. Yeah. It was all a dream. You used to read Word Up magazine. So, we're going to go to everyone's favorite now, Josh. Overwhelming, Overwhelming Dark Numbers! That was really, it was good harmonizing. Uh, all survivors must determine their paths and walk them simultaneously. So, what is everyone's path? Uh, I go walk the PF of the Brave. So, that's three plus courage. Uh, French Onion is nothing. Uh, so, Ramen is insane, so they have to walk the path of the insane. And then, we, we didn't do Accept Darkness, did we? Nope. Okay, and so then I've got the path of Doomed, because I am not insane, nor do I have the strength. Uh, so, I need to roll a d10. I rolled a 10. Perfect. So, Josh, what did you roll? For which character? Or which Give me table? anyone. Uh, French Onion rolled a 1 on the path of the Doomed. Well, that sounds atrocious. Yep. Uh, uh, a host of translucent moths gently descend on you. Spend all of your survival, or your lantern light vanishes and you're never seen again dead. Well, <coughs> goodbye to all my survival. That's good. Uh, need that. What did your next character roll, Josh? Uh, my next character uh, rolled a three on the path of the brave. A three. You punch yourself in the face to chase away doubt. Gain a minus one accuracy token. Chat rolled a five on the path of the insane. And that is you shriek, you shriek, you shriek and lash out. All survivors suffer one event damage to a random hit location. So, chat, you're going to roll random hit location to see where you're going to take one damage. I'm taking a damage to my hands. Uh, French Onion got punched in the hoo-ha. <laughs> and I got punched in the chest. And finally, I rolled a 10 on the Path of Doom, so I am resolute. I'm going to gain plus one insanity and plus one courage. All right, so when we arrive, I'm going to have five insanity. And so Chad's going to also take one damage to their arms. And what did you take damage to? My arms. Okay. Okay. So then that's overwhelming darkness. We got through it, folks. You almost died. We're going to go... Burr, 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 burr. And it's time for us to do some herb gathering. Herb gathering. Herb gathering. Herb. 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 All survivors gain one survival. So you've got a survival back now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not completely useless. You keep telling yourself that, Josh. And we need to do the Herb Gathering Story event. So, each survivor must make a special gathering roll. To make a gathering roll, a survivor nominates any number of d10s and rolls them. If two or more die results are the same, your score is zero. Otherwise, add all of your dice together to determine your gathering score. Uh, add the survivor's gathering score to make a single final score and consult the Herb Exploration table. Add plus 10 to the final score if the survivors have passed Overwhelming Darkness. So we have. So we're going to get plus 10 to the result. Uh, in order to get 75 plus, we need... To, so we need to get 65 plus. So I don't remember the strategy we had last time. I think it was four D10s for the first roll, though. Right? Each survivor Rolls nominates their own number. Correct. And we all do it at once, though, right? Uh, no, not necessarily. Oh, no, I'm so Okay, hold on. Each survivor must make a special gathering roll. Yes. To make a gathering roll, a survivor nominates any number of D10s and rolls. So you don't have to do it together. Okay. So it's four to start, I believe. So I'm going to have Twitch go first. Okay. So Twitch roll four D10s. No doubles. No doubles. So I believe it was four, three, two, two, if it goes well. Otherwise, it's four, four, three, three, something like that. I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head. And they rolled five, five. Okay, so that failed. Okay. So I'm going to roll four then. Okay. Two, seven, eight, eight. So I roll doubles. Josh, how many are you rolling? Five. Okay. Good luck. Two, three, three seven, seven two, four, four six. six. All unique. Bam! So that's 10, 22. So we're at 32. Yes. And we need 45 to get to the next thing? Uh, Yes. So we need 13? Yes. So three dice. That yes. That should be an average of 15. Yes. 
best chance. Yes. Eight, Eight two, two one. one. Uh, that's not enough. That's an eleven. So that's not enough. Uh, so we are stuck on gain a fresh acanthus strange resource. All survivors gain plus one survival. So you're at max survival. Me no. I'm at six. Oh, I have you at seven on here. I mean, it's close. It's more than I thought I would get. Um, all right, so that's the end of that. So now, Josh, I, I'm sorry, this is me now? Yeah, this is me now. So the abandoned resin ball. You spot a large spherical object covered in flora resting at the base of a small valley. Your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. You may descend and investigate. If you do, gain a courage and roll a d10. <coughs> sure, why not? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and investigate so I gain a courage. Um, what? Nothing. You lose survival. Could get a random hunt event that makes us ambush him. You get a random. Up to you. Good choice. Choose why. I rolled a 10. Okay. Uh, along the ball's inner walls, you find rows of beautiful drawings. Have we innovated pictographs? Nope. Oh. Shit. You can't understand it. I should have just did a random. All right. So we get an understanding. So then we're going to... Yay, it's time to fight the DBK. DBK, DBK, DBK. Are you ready to fight the DBK, Josh? Uh, do we have any random terrain or just... Uh, no randoms. All right, so the Dung Beetle Knight's going to go in the center of the showdown board with his poop ball lovingly placed right in front of him. Is Pictographs a possible innovation in our pool? I think so. Okay, so that's going to go there. I need to put my fancy bug patch right here. That goes there. Uh, then I need these stone columns, Josh. How many? Uh, six. So many stone columns, so little time. All right, can you set up the survivors in the place that you think is best? Uh, where is that? Wh where am I allowed to set them up? Uh, this section right here. Do, 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 do. Might be worth grabbing do, if we're going to continue poo hunting. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt, is that the best? Is that the furthest I can get everyone on the edges? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Technically, he, he can go here. Oh, can they go here? I don't know. It's no, I, I lied. It's here and here. Okay. Oh, I should probably zoom up so you can see where we're at. Okay, so we're there. Uh, Josh, what cards of the Dung Beetle Knights am I showing off? All the cards. Heart of the cards. I don't think he has all of them. Uh, so we've got Heavy Load. When the Resin Dung Ball collides with a survivor, they lose a the survival. That's awful. Uh, we've got Separation Anxiety. So this is when the monster is not adjacent to the Resin Dung Ball, it is separated and gains this icon. So that's going to affect some cards. Whoops. Don't mean to throw that on the floor. Uh, we've got Power Forward, which is a trait here. And that is, do not perform this card if he's separated from the ball. Uh, and that's going to be at the beginning of his turn. He's going to be doing this. So turn uh, to face the target, perform Baller, move the ball 2d10 spaces, and on collision, any survivor suffers 5 damage to monster level hit locations. So two hit locations. Baller is going to spin the poop ball around him and uh, archive all destructible terrain, and then survivors suffer collision that are in that zone. And then finally, we've got the ground pound. So ground pound, the monster slams the ground, precisely altering the network of prepared tunnels. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. Move the poo ball 1d10 spaces closer, and again, 5 damage on collision to monster level, in this case, 2 hit locations. There we go. There we go. And then finally, his basic action is going to be closest knockdown survivor and then closest threat. Uh, it's going to be four speed because he's got plus one speed. It's going to be three plus accuracy, and it's going to be for six damage because he's got plus two damage. And then full move the monster towards the resin dunk ball. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. So without any further ado, I think we're ready to begin. Josh, who goes first? Monster. Of course. 
So Monster Controller is going to start out with Tarhana Corbasi, and uh, we are playing with a Wisdom Potion, right? Yes. Okay. So first up, we've got Grab and Pummel. Oh, but that's not what he does first. Why are we doing that? Of course, uh, he is going to do uh, Baller first, so he's going to turn to face us. He he turns to face us first. In yeah. The baller. Oh, his target. And then he whoop, 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 he targets there. So after that, he is going to power forward, which is going to be the furthest stinky survivor. So that's either going to be blue or green. Oh, green is not stinky. Green's not stinky. Uh, so oh. I am stinky. To dash now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spend one of my survival. So I'm going to go down to five, and I'm going to run away. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to power forward. So we need two D10s to be rolled to see how far the ball goes. I'm not that far away. So this might be really bad right off the bat. We'll find out. We'll find out. A one, a two, a three. If they roll two ones, you'll be So happy. the monster's got 14 toughness also. Yeah. And seven movement. Yep. Four and a one. That's fun. One, two, three, four, five. So where you had it was probably the best. Yeah. All right. And so then he's going to full move the monster towards the ball. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll do that. So the monster moved towards the ball. Then he's going to draw his AI card. And his AI card is grab and pummel, the closest stinky threat in range. That's going to be Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, so they're the closest stinky threat in range. So it's going to target them. It's going to move all up in their business. And it's going to attack. So... Uh, the monster's leg, leg plating slow. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's 11 dice, Matt. Oh, my God. Chat, please roll six D10s. Uh, this is five plus accuracy. Um, you, you do have six natural evasion. So only a 10 hits you, which is nice. Um... Five seven three one six seven. So that's zero hits. Zero hits. But still need to roll five more. Yeah, five more dice. We're just about halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, we're gonna have a prayer. What? I don't know. That's our tax card, by the way. All right. Three, four, four, ten, three. So that's one hit. They still have fencing, though. <laughs> so roll a d10 to see if you can use your fencing to fence it away. Fence it away, fence it away, fence it away now. So as for tactic cards, we do have the block formation. So while the survivors are standing in this formation, they each ignore the first hit from a monster's attack. So that could be very beneficial for us. And then we a 10. So, so they, they block it away. away. So they parried it away, and you guys are fine. Ridiculous survivor continues to be ridiculous. So it, with that, it's the end of the monster's turn, and it is now our turn. So I'm assuming Twitch is going to want to just smack it. How's the crit location on it? Uh, so first, he's going to do ground pound. Oh, that sucks. So we need someone that can hit from some range. The problem is it's still going to knock Twitch down. You know? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they hit how many? Three dice. Three dice? I mean, they could just hit and hit that one last or something like that. So that's only if it crits, though, that it ground pounds. No, it's it's before attempt in the wound, it ground pounds. It's uh, because he has separation anxiety. Oh, I see. So there may be something that causes the ball to go next in before that, too. Or maybe they do a crit that Cancels knocks reactions. down or cancels reaction or, knocks, or something like that. Okay. So I think we're, we're safe to do that. So Twitch, please roll three D10s. Are they hit on a two plus? Uh, so they have two speed on their weapon. They've got one natural speed, so that's the three dice. Their weapon's a five plus accu accuracy. They've got seven natural accuracy. So yeah, they hit on a two plus. Very easily on a two plus with room to spare. And they rolled a two, a one, and a seven. Horrible rolls. Two hits. And, oh, good. 
So first up is the Sentry Carapace. So plus six toughness to in this location, plus 2d10 strength if you are wounding with a club, which you are. Uh, so please roll three d10s to see your... So it's going to be 20. It's 20. What's, how much strength do they have already? Uh, they've got 12 natural strength. Okay. The weapon's got five strength. Okay. So that is 17 in total. They're rolling 3d10, so they're going to succeed. Unless, unless they roll, unless a, one they roll the a one die. on the first die. So 8, 9, 9. Fantastic rolls there. Not that you need it. So yes, he's dabbing. Uh, but you did wound the monster, so this reaction cannot be canceled. Instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain a survival. So... They're at max survival, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And so the next card, Josh, he is going to do the Iridescent Abdomen. And before attempting to wound, perform Ground Pound, cancel this reaction, cancel the reaction on this hit location. So because he's doing Ground Pound, uh, pass this card over here, Ground Pound. So the monster slams the ground, precisely altering its network of prepared tunnels. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. So they are knocked down. Okay. So I need a knockdown token, if you please. And then vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces closer to the monster. So I touch roll d10. And that will end their turn. So they won't be able to wound that location. Sadly, no wound. Uh, nothing happened to French Onion. French Onion's fine. Hmm. I mean, I like, like French Onion. but uh, And they rolled a 9. So ball's going to move there. All right, so I'm going to... How's the next location? Um, There's a persistent injury, so we want someone to crit here. Uh, Not me. So Red is probably the best critter available. Uh, red? Well, they're both good critters. Why is their health so low? That's their survival. Yeah, that's the, uh, the survival that you're seeing there. Um, so their survival is awful. And they don't have much armor because they only have rawhide armor. Yeah. So. Um. What you gonna do with all that junk? Yeah, oh, I think God. I'm gonna hit it with red. So where would you like to move to? Do I want to punch him? Why would you punch him? So I get my fist and tooth mastery. That's on you, boo-boo. It rolls me roll two. Uh, I'll, I'll rip later first. I, wa I, I want to get this crit in. Okay. And the luck's the same. Well, so if the luck's the same, then you might as well just do the fist and tooth, no? I have four accuracy, so... Yeah, sure. I'll so I'm in the butt? Or on his side? The butt. Left cheek? Sure. Okay, because left cheek, best cheek. You know. Do I want to... I don't know what the second card is, and that could screw me up. Don't be a pansy. <laughs> All right, so you rolled a two and a six. So, it's normally a plus to hit with fist. Yes. I have plus four accuracy. So four, four plus. plus. Blind spot, three, three plus. plus. So one hit. One hit. Should have used the blade. And you're attacking the filthy wings, because you got to take these, these filthy, filthy wings. wings. Learn, learn to, to fly, fly again. again. And you rolled a two. And that's not even enough to wound. Failure. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. You already are. Uh, the monster beats its wings. All survivors in the blind spot suffer knockback seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm close to the bug. Don't take that bug from Twitch. They'll, they'll murder you. All right. So do you want to... Is that the trap card? Yep. Yep. Well, green's up next, so you know what to do. Um, can I get far enough away? You need to go one more, Josh. There you go. I was here. You were, yeah, here. Go. There we go. Okay. All the uh, the whispering. Roll, Roll five. five. Is that a hit? It is a hit because I get plus four accuracy, so my six plus becomes a two plus. And we've got the slam dunk. Uh, all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, if the monster is adjacent to the attacker, nope. And then place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. No, because it doesn't do. Nope. He doesn't dunk me. He just stays there yep. because he can't pick you up and dunk you. Yep. He can't do the slam a jamma. I laugh at him because he's too slow. <clears throat> Come on and slam. 
If, if you, you wanna, wanna jam. Jam, 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 All right. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. You're going to kick that ball? Am I? No, I think I'm going to rawhide headband. I'm going to rawhide headband. No, you're not. Oh, no, that's Twitch. Yeah, you don't, you don't, don't have, have, that, you don't have that option. I'm going to cat eye circle it. Do that. I want to cat eye circle it? Or do I want to just kick the ball? Just kick the ball further and further away from him. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to kick the ball. I rolled a three, so that's going to move the ball two spaces. Okay. Not a great kick. Would you like to cut the deck? Where's your scissors? Uh, I think Twitch would rage Yeah, they would murder really me. hard if you literally cut the deck. Yeah, I, I, they would murder me. <clears throat> I wouldn't blame them. All right, so that is the end of our turn. It is now the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass from Torhana Karbasi over to Ramen, and we get to draw an AI card. You broke your ankle on the kick, didn't you? Yeah, because it's the heavy load. Swordmaster. When this comes into play, the monster gains a plus one speed token. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Sorry. He's no. doing... He's not. He's not doing the other thing first. Yeah. Separated. Uh, so, plus one speed token. Replace the monster's basic attack with this. Yay. Okay, so he's going to do this instead. Okay. Broken Blade's the next card up. So, if we crit him... Yeah. You, we get rid of this. Oh, Okay. Uh, so, closest threat, so he's going to attack green. Okay. So, uh, move an attack, he's going to move there. He has... No, this replaces. Replaces basic action. Yeah, it doesn't say... Oh, and then, per uh, perform basic, okay, I misread. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, he's got plus two speed, so he's going to roll 5d10. He hits on a two plus. How much evasion do you have? One, two gonna die that's a four plus to hit you oh boy I'm gonna die oh boy i did oh <laughs> this is gonna be good let me get the severe injury book ready seven seven eight 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 oh my lord josh you are taking five hits for eight damage each yeah you're you're dead A hundred percent dead. Yep. Wow. Could I even have dash to get out of the way? No. no. There, was, there was nothing for me to do. Nope. Wow. Hands, body, feet. feet. You can dodge one of them. And the feet. Let me. I'm gonna dodge the <laughs> dark. I was feel, planning to meet, to, planning to be mean today, but I'm not really feeling that I need to. <laughs> I'll dodge the hands. Okay. So I'm down the one survival. So what are you rolling for first? I'm gonna roll for the body first. How much armor do you have at your body? I had two armor. Okay. So like it, it's. It got obliterated. It got obliterated. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna dodge the body because I have body armor. I didn't have any arm ar arm armor, so you know maybe. I don't know what you're going for, but okay. Maybe that armor, if I do live, that armor might help. Okay. So what's this first roll for? First one's going to be for the arms. Minus two. I rolled a four. Die of shock. Your vision fades along with the sight of your mangled armless torso. You're dead. Sweet. A three on two what? sevens on the legs. All on the legs? Yes. Uh, three, gain two bleeding tokens and two sevens. Torn muscles, your quadricep is ripped to shreds. So he tore your arms and your legs off. You can go ahead and pencil that on your very dead character now. A farewell to arms. Uh, chopped off my limbs. Yeah. Wow. That's rough. And you're just like, no, you don't need to use the raw hide. I mean, I couldn't anyways. Um, wow. That sucks. A lot. Uh, we have no war wisdom potion. Oh my god, really? Yep. Wow. Tana Dan, you have no limbs. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no limbs. You can say he's been eliminated. Wow, that was a this is a rough start. Yep. Bye, Green. 
That was awesome. Okay, so it's the end of the monster's turn at least. Yay. It's our turn now, so Twitch is going to stand up. Okay. I, I really want Twitch to go and hurt him. Um, do, do you, would you like to check hit locations and do some manipulation? No. We know what the next one is. It's fine. They're going to roll. It's fine, Josh. We need to be aggressive. Be aggressive. Sure. 3D10s, they hit on a 2+. plus. Did that Acanthus help you at all? No? no. Okay. Nope. Nope. Just checking. Archive this to fully heal one hit location. Does not help when uh, it, I have no armor. Yeah, that's true. 719. Wow, they missed one again. So two hits. I like how you're just like sensitively flipping it over. Uh, this type of damage is only making me more excited to play my copy with friends. <laughs> that's good to hear. Filthy Resin Sword. So chat, please roll a d10. Uh, oh, is that the one legendary card that was in the stack, Matt? The Swordmaster? Yes. Okay. There's just one of those. Yeah. One legendary card in the stack. So we got it. We got it. Second turn. Um, So they, they crit on a 5+. plus. So there's that. All right. It's a two, 2, though. It is a wound. Okay. Uh, So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total uh, by one. Okay. Wow. Uh, next up. How much health does the monster have, by the way? Uh, 13. Okay. So, chat, please roll another d10. Uh, parry wound attempts at this location fail unless the wound roll result is a critical. So, okay. So they need a 5+. plus. They need a 5+. plus. I mean, that's doable with this character. Yeah. And a 3. Wow, guys. Just wow. Okay, so that's a failure. Read the failure. Uh, full move towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, the attacker suffers bash and knockback seven. What happened to me? Oh, damn it. Really? Yep. Okay. Um, what would you like to do with red now, Josh? <laughs> red is going to... Cry? Laugh at you guys because... Sucks to be you. Uh, doesn't fencing negate the parry? No. Yes. It does? Yes, it does. Oh, really? Yes. So you can... Wait, really? Yes. Thank you. That's the whole point of why... Um, the parry's in blue text? Uh, the Flower Knight hands out parry. Because oh. a lot of its cards are that. I'll just double check, but yes. Thank you. Dark Sand Genius. And Guinness. Guinius. Can Red run away? No, we're not, we don't run away here. This ain't a flock of seagulls. Uh, parry, 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 uh, Red could go and eat the bug. I could, yeah, I could go check the bug out. So I'll go to the bug. I rolled a one. Wow. Insect with your face stares back at you and scuttles away. Suffer three brain damage. Yeah, that's a severe brain trauma. <laughs> really? Yep. I might die here. I rolled a ten. Frenzy. Gain 1 D5 insanity, plus 1 speed token, and plus 1 strength token. Ignore slow on melee weapons. You may not spend survival. You may not use fighting arts. You may not use weapon mastery or specialization. Uh, it can be gained multiple times. Oh, I also had vengeance. Which means I think you get you get frenzied from someone dying. Oh, so you just got frenzied twice. So I got frenzied twice. So that's 4 plus 1. So I got 5 insanity. Mm-hmm. Um, two speed tokens. Two strength and two speeds. You're going to be attacking the monster like an idiot from uh, now on. I have bitter frenzy, so I can still spend my survival. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, so uh, I can't use my fighting arts. So I can't I can't vengeance anymore. You can't fence either. I can't fence. But that's all right. Okay. You're actually not in a bad spot. Not in a horrible spot. Okay, cool. Oops. 
Um, I'm going to go kick the poo ball. Poo ball, Winnie the poo ball. Do you want to do that or do you want to check hit locations? I'm going to check hit locations. I feel like hit locations are... you're right, you're right, you're right. Poo ball, Winnie the poo ball. So this one... Oh, no, Twitch that crit, so he's still doing... We actually don't want Twitch to crit right now. Why not? Because his basic actions mean... What does that have to do with anything? When they crit, he does his basic action instead of his AI card. They have the oh, Bonko Hammer Club. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Well, they can fist and tooth. They could fist and tooth. That's probably a better yeah, idea. Yeah, it's probably safer to fist and tooth. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. You're just going to get us all killed. Um, one of the things gives you plus four permanent strength if you spend survival. Um. We're not going to do I that. I don't care about that that much. And then Broken Mouth. So I, it, it's fine. I'll put the Sentry Carapace up on top. Okay. Actually, no. I'm going to put that on the... Oh, no. Who's hitting Twitch first? Yeah, I'm going to put it on the bottom. Okay. Well, shit, the A-team can't crit. That's going to be tough. I mean, they can Twitch crit. can trigger it. With fist and tooth, they just can't crit with their club. They can crit. It's just that he's going to be really, really mean if he does that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that is the end of our turn. Are you moving at all? No. I'll move there. Okay. Uh, now, Monster Control is going to pass from Ramen to French Onion, and I need the top AI card to be drawn, please. And it's the Vicious Bite. So closest stinky survivor in range. That's Twitch. So it's going to be five speed. So please roll five D10s. It's three plus accuracy. They've got ninety uh, six natural evasion plus uh, a monster grease and the rawhide set. So it's going to be a 10 to hit. Okay. So there's that. They got that going for them, which is nice. And that's a five, seven, six, nine, five. That is no hits. Cool. So something to note. One of the top cards that I put on the hit location deck is the Broken Mouth Permanent Injury card. Okay, so we want Twitch to hit. So we want Twitch to hit right now and crit him. Okay. Right, but and then we don't want to, to take this card out of the deck. So that's that's good. Okay. This that's could good. be very good. So this goes away. All right. That's the end of the monster's turn. Yes. So now it's our turn. Twitch is going to punch it? Twitch is going to punch so it's still a two plus for them to hit because they've got seven natural accuracy. Okay, that's fine. And the strength wise, they've got twelve strength, so it's a two plus to wound also. Okay. So th it's not really a detriment to them. So they're going to roll three d tens because they've got one natural speed and it's two two speed on the fist and tooth. Okay. So two plus to hit. The only one that they might have some issue with is the sentry carapace. Matt, can you put your hand over the? Yeah, that's better. It's getting a little fuzzy. On All the right. And they rolled a 10, a 6, and a 10. Two okay. perfect hits. If only you got something for perfect hits. Uh, so what's up first? Um, that one wants to be last. Why is that? Oh, because of the fail the reflex? Yes. It's the reflex. So this one is he does ground pound and throws the ball back. Oh, out. okay. Uh, so let's do this first, because worst thing is they lose the survival. Okay. So chat, please roll a d10. Uh, it's plus six toughness, so he's at 20 toughness altogether. You're not using a club shield or pickaxe, so you don't get the extra strength. So it's going to be zero strength for fist and tooth, plus 12 natural strength. So you need to roll an eight plus. Doable. It is doable. They rolled a two, though. It's not so it's a failure. Uh, lose one survival. So, Josh, please reduce their survival from 7 to 6. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. And next up is the Hidden Mandibles. So this is the one where... We want to crit. We want to crit. This could save our game here. Uh, and you have two natural luck. Your fists are deadly. You've got a Sleeping Virus Flower, and you've got a Luck Charm. So that adds up to five luck altogether, so five plus crits. Seven. That's a crit. Awesome. The attack ruins the precise mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, they may spend two survival to 
nimbly eat a glob of resin spit, gaining one permanent evasion. I think they I should. I think do they're spending two, yeah. two survival to get evasion. Yeah. So they spend two it's a survival. No I don't down. think they need monster grease anymore. No. So they're at seven natural evasion. So soon enough, they may actually be able to run a naked build. Yeah. The, yeah. That's so. There's that. Um, and then persistent injury, broken mouth affects some AI cards. Better than nothing, not as tasty as a bug. So he just baby birded you. Right? Yep. And then finally, you're attacking the iridescent abdomen. So, chat, please roll one more d10 here. Again, you crit on a 5 plus. You wound on a 2 plus. No. Oh, I'm sorry. He ground pounds right he now. Ground pounds right now. So, this doesn't happen. He gets knocked down. You guys get knocked down, rather. And the ball is going to be moved one d10 spaces closer. So, that's what this d10 is for. Two. One, two. All right. So. Uh, yep, you can be the grease up naked guy. It's a perfectly fine thing. So that's going to be the end of Twitch's turn. Okay. What are you doing with red? Should I try the bug again? Yeah, I think so. And then you could start running closer afterwards. Seven. That's I got a, bug. a bug. So chat, you know the drill. Give us a bug, a great big bug, and make it a bugaroo. Bugaroo bonsai. The purring cicada. Ooh. Josh got a purring cicada. That's the purring. So, Josh, what is the purring cicada? Uh, it's the heel one. So, you could actually hold on to that then. Yes. That's a good one to hold on to. Okay. So, then, Josh, you're going to move five spaces closer. Can I shove it under the dead survivor and try to heal him? I don't think so. <laughs> and then, do you want me to check AI cards, or do you want me to kick the ball? Let me look at it real quick. I'm going to throw my shield up as I... Oh no, I, I already used my activation, yeah. so I can't, I can't do anything else. Um, how far is the ball from him? So, one, two. so yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to move because then I would be in range of the monster. But if Twitch stands up at the beginning of the turn, they'll be closest threat. Yeah. So they, they should be the one targeted. Okay, so I'll... You can move one and kick the ball. <sighs> one space. It's better than nothing. All right, so Twitch is going to stand up now. Yeah. It's uh, the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from French Onion to Ramen Freeman. Yeah, separation anxiety, so no. Power forward. Right. And he's going to do the gene. Oh, no. Genius Architect, do not perform this card. Instead, the monster gently steps on the keystone. The tunnel network breaks in just the right places. All survivors suffer bash and five damage to the legs. No. Yeah, five damage to the legs. Oh, shit. And ground pound. So, I can take that. I can take that. I have five armor on my legs. Twitch is going to take a severe leg injury. And they are knocked down. You're also knocked down. Yes, we're all knocked down. I'm not. Oh, you because you ignore Bash. Ignore so the bash. ball moves four spaces closer, and then they need to roll a d10 for a severe leg injury. Ouch, skip bibbles. <sighs> we need to get rid of this card. I should have checked AI cards. You can't. Oh, that's right. I can only check eight locations. They rolled a three. Uh, gain two bleeding tokens. You're at three bleeds. Do we have bandages? Um, I don't... I think the dead guy had the bandages. Nope. Nope, nope we don't have bandages. No bandages. Awesome. We don't need no stinking bandages. Uh, I do have the Acanthus. Yeah. That doesn't heal bleeds, though. No. It's a, it feels a hit location, though. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So, oh, wait. I don't think that was it for that card. That's it. Oh, okay. From ground pound. That was so it. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Yep. Okay. So we stand back up. I'm going to check hit location cards. Okay. And let me see what we got there. So this one reflexes ground pound. That's awful. Failure. 
That knocks it away. This one. Okay. This is good. So I'm going to put this one on top. I want Twitch to attack with the club. You want them to attack with the club? Yes. <clears throat> Should they round about in the back? Doesn't. In case something ground pounds and starts bringing the ball closer to them and they don't get smashed by the ball? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So go ahead and move them into the butt, Josh. I can't move them in the butt. I can move them right there, though. Okay. That's fine. Side cheek. Side left cheek. Okay. So, chat, we need to roll 3d10s. And they're hitting them with the club this time? Yes. There's a benefit to the club. Okay. Tenderize some flank. Oh, yeah. Who wants some flank steak? Ricky Lake. Flank steak. Ricky Lake. They rolled two, ten, five. Three Three hits. hits. Three hits. Okay. They have one that cancels all reactions if they crit it. And it gives them plus stuff if they have a club. So so the... Do, 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 do. Oh, so this is if they wound, this happens. If you hit with a club or shield. So they want to technically wound without critting here. It would be ideal. Um, so go ahead and roll, chat. You know the drill. You know the drill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So a two through four here is what we want. Okay. And the verdict is they rolled a two. Perfect. So they hit with the club. Uh, The monster staggers, gains minus four toughness, and cancels all reactions until the end of the attack. All right. All right. So next up, they are going to attack um, this one, the filthy wings. Take Take these these filthy filthy wings wings and learn to fly again. again. <laughs> That's not going to get old at all. Nope. Right? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> uh, so, again, it's a 2 plus to wound, 5 plus to crit on the monster. I think that's a new alert video. And it's a 1. But reactions are canceled. Yeah. So, it's fine. So, that goes away. And we're going to do the Filthy Claws. This is a really dirty yeah. DBK. I mean, he's rolling poop around, Josh. Just rolling around poop. Just poop. He's the scat man. Scream it, 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 da ba da po. Da ba da po. Can we have someone dressed as DBK? It's like the scat man. They rolled another one. Good job, chap. Good job. Thank you for the ones. Okay. All right. Uh, Red, you might as well move closer and kick the dung ball. One, two, three, four, five. Kick that poop. Ooh, that's a good kick. One, two, three, four. Move that poop. Dung. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from Raman Freeman to Tar- Tarhana Korbasi. And Josh, can you please pass me the next AI card? And it's Beetle Flight. When this comes into play, all survivors with 6 plus courage are excited by the challenge and gain one strength token. So, Josh, you gain a strength token. Oh, cool. I'm at uh, plus 3 strength. Draw an AI card. While this is in play, the monster gains plus 10 movement and plus 1 evasion. Uh, Broken wings. So, if we would have crit this, the monster falls pathetically and is knocked down. Archive beetle flight. If only. If only we took his filthy wings. The nice thing is. I learned to fly again. Chat didn't crit, so he didn't do his basic action. So Which would have been instead of that. Right. So we draw another AI card. Who got the extra badness when targeted by the monster? No one anymore. Uh, he got rid of that. So ball top spin. Uh, so do not... Oh, perform- I, get, I get extra badness when targeted by the monster. And I'm monster controller. I thought you got rid of that. Oh, you still have that? I have the controller phobia. I oh, got rid of Matt's luck, which right. was my accuracy. Like. So do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound and a basic action. Yeah. So... Roll d10 for the ground pound. Twitch is knocked down again. That's okay. They'll come back up. And the basic action is going to target the closest threat. So that's red. Yay. You're about to die, Josh. <sighs> and that's an eight. So what did I roll? Oh, that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So... 
that stare. And then basic action, so uh, he is going to attack red. So he's going to go right up here. Whoa, hey, hey, buddy. Is he drunk? Yeah, drunk, drunk, Beetle Knight. And he's going to roll 5d10s. Josh, how much evasion do you have? Three, four, five, six. That's good. So that's an eight plus to hit you. Eight plus to hit. Each one's only going to do eight damage each. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Boom, 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 Bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Boom, 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 boom. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Boom, boom, boom. And tell her that her lonesome nights are over. You took our bug. You must be punished. Give the monster a plus one hook. So it's a seven plus to hit. So he three got hits. he got an extra hit off of that. So that's three hits. You can't dodge any. I can. Oh, you can. That's true. Can't dodge. All right. Waste, body, and hands. So, which one are you dodging, Josh? How much damage is it each? Eight. Eight. Just enough to be a severe injury, no matter where it's at. Well, oh, you had your shield up, didn't you? No, I kicked the ball. Oh. I tried. Uh -oh. I know. What in the, and you didn't get a head either. And that's not activated. Oh, I it's not. The, the red oh. affinity for it. Okay, never mind. Plus one bead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. This isn't good. I'll dodge the body. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, quick one, four, five, six. Yeah. Six. I can't use fencing. Sadly, I can't use fencing. Yeah. All right. So first up is the waste. Uh, five. So that's a three. Uh, bleeding kidneys gain two bleeding tokens. So more three bleed. All right. Uh, next up, hands. Seven. So that's a five. Ruptured muscle, a painful rip. The arm hangs limp. You can no longer activate fighting arts. This injury is permanent and can be recorded once. Gain a bleeding token. Uh, ruptured muscle? Okay, cool. I couldn't use fighting arts anyway because I'm frenzied. Yeah. Uh, I'm still alive. Still alive. Barely. Still alive. But still alive. And dark. I got you added on the table again. Thank you. <clears throat> this, isn't, this isn't looking good. No, it's not. So that's the end of the monster's turn. Yep. And it's our turn. So Twitch is going to stand back up. I'm going to check hit locations. Hopefully they do a little bit better. I see two carapaces of will. Um, okay. You have a shitload of speed, right? I have a shitload of speed. Just I, have speed. Three, I have three. So I can get rid of these? Yeah. So Twitch can... Conversely, do we want them to get rid of these because they're more likely to crit than you, and we don't want them to crit because he'll do his basic action. But they action. can do Fist and Tooth. But they can get rid of those carapaces. They can archive. I have a shield. Okay. So, like, I have 16th strength right now. It's a guarantee for them to get rid of it. 17 strength. It's oh, a 3 yeah. plus, with 3 die. Like, yeah. I, I can... I can get rid of it. And I can get rid of the Swarm of Bot Flies because I have Max Courage. But I wanted Josh dead for his bug-stealing treachery. <laughs> All right. So oh, and I... we're going to be doing a giveaway tonight. Yeah. And Dark, you killed yourself. All right. So three dice. Yes. I typically hit on an eight plus. Yeah. Hit him in the butt cheek. So it's a seven plus typically. I have four accuracy. Three plus. So three plus. He has plus one evasion. Four plus. So four plus. Just kill him back. Two, six, ten. Okay, so two hits. So you put the bot flies up first? Because I can get rid of these. Okay. Because I have the courage. Twitch uh, doesn't have the courage. Oh, okay. It's courage based. So first up is the butt flies. A swarm of butt flies gushes from under the Dung Beetle Knight's armor. Roll a d10 and add your courage. I, I have max courage. I have okay. max courage, so it's higher than that. Uh, okay. 
So it's gone. Archive. Archive. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Right. So That's Carapace good. of Will, go ahead and roll your 3D10s. It's a... Nah, yeah. So you're fine. So it's Four, a success. Uh, success. You gain a survival. That's about seven survival. Again. All right. So do we want chat to blind attack? I think in the way we are, we just need to... That's what we need to do. Right. And so theoretically, since you're in the blind spot, and if they get knocked, if you guys get knocked down from ground pound and he does his basic action, he's going to target me, but I can dash out of the way. Okay. So I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he's going to... Ball. Yeah. I get to move one... I can move one space at the end of my action, but that's not going to help me. It's not enough. Uh, I can still dash. That's, I can dash before he does baller. Okay. And then they might have something that makes him move. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go on the butt, and let's roll 3d10s. Are we fist and toothing, or are we kitty go bonk hammering? Fist and tooth, I think. Yeah. Worst case of the, the carapace card that's there, they lose a survival. They're, they have... Okay. But they don't give him the ability to do, do his atrocious basic action. Mm -hmm. uh, two, ten, five. Three hits. Three hits. Uh, should we do the strength token thing for devastating? Yeah. Yeah, you should. Uh, it's a little late. A little late and now. They got the freaking... Uh, butt flies. Butt flies. All right, so you need to roll a d10. Uh, so add your courage. So they have one courage. So, so they need, need to five. roll... No. Or higher. Six. Six? Yeah. Yeah, six or higher. Damn it. Fifty fifty chance. Oh no, it has to be it has to be seven. It has to be one more. Whatever. It's a two. two. Alright, so you suffer two brain damage and are knocked down. Well shit. It's okay, we're just burning through the uh hit location cards. Right? Yep. <sighs> Knock down. All right. You won already. Did I? Yes. Yep. Yes, I did. So now, Monster Controller is going to go from. This is going to be very bad right here. To Ramen. And we're going to. He's going to. Perform Baller. I'm going to. Is uh, Twitch is going to stand up? Is he adjacent? Oh, he is adjacent yeah. to it. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to dash. Twitch should dash also. I'm going to dash right there. So I'm down to six. I'm going to make Twitch dash? Sure. Okay. So they are going to roll a d10 to see if they regain their survival. I'm going to move them there, I guess. So then he's going to go floopy doop like that. And uh, actually, it's going to baller. Monster turns all around him. All survivors are around. Place it in front of the monster. Okay. And then power forward is going to target the furthest stinky survivor. So it targeted me before anything. Okay. So they rolled a two, so they lose their survival. All right. So that three? Yeah. I'm going to now dash. So I spend a survival. And then chat, please roll a D10. Yep. For power, it's actually two D10s. Josh, roll a D10 and add it to whatever they roll. A four. Four. One, two... Three, four. This is getting me nervous. Five. five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my God. And hey, you just shit your pants. <sighs> <laughs> I just added to the dung ball with the contents of my pants. Okay. Um, so I'm okay. Then he's going to draw an AI card. And he's going to do shoulder bash. So the closest stinky threat, which is Twitch, in field of view and range. So he's going to roll 4d10. He's got 4 plus accuracy. Twitch has 7 evasion. He's got a plus 1 accuracy, so it's still a 10 to hit. Okay. And that's not even accounting their 2 extra accuracy that's in their armor grid. And four, five, eight, eight. So they're fine. Now he's going to ground pound. So Twitch gets knocked down. Yep. Uh, and then the ball is going to move one D10 spaces closer to him. Which is fine. Get that damn thing away from me. 
atrocious. Oh, man. This is uh, a nasty fight here. Yeah, this is really nasty. And they rolled a two. One, two. Okay, so that's the end of that. Okay. Twitch is going to stand up. Yep. I guess I'll check hit location cards. All right. <clears throat> this does not help at all. Why? These two are discarded to draw a new hit location if the ball's not adjacent to them. <laughs> Okay. And there's a carapace. So who's attacking first? I guess I'll hit it with my shield. It just... Yeah, we, we are stumpy now. Look at me. I am stumpy now. Three of the shield. I hit uh, eight plus plus my four. Four plus. Four plus. He's got plus one evasion, so five plus. Five plus. Nine, ten, three. Two hits. Discard this. Draw a hit location. Discard just and draw a new hit location. Right. So two hit cards. Carapace and the trap card. I'm dead. So dead. All survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. Hey. hey doing, Mr. Uh, if the monster is adjacent to the attacker, picks them up and leaps high into the air, the monster lands next to the resin dung ball and slams the attacker inside. Uh, place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. The attacker suffers five damage to two hit locations and gains the Smell World Survivor status card. The hands and the body. Oh, what did I take damage to before? Oh, oh, I only took one severe injury to the legs. Right? Yeah. So you're going to take five damage to those two locations. So, so you can actually take that. Five to the body. Yes. And you get the Smell World Survivor status card. So it didn't kill you. Nope, I'm still alive. Somehow. It's a smell world after all. It's a smell world after all. Uh, I don't I don't get a bleed, so yeah. I'm good. Uh, I, well, Smell World, I think, gives you bleed. Is it? It might. So Smell World, show that off here. When you gain this, remove your survivor from the board and place them on this card. At the start of your act, roll a d10. On the result of 8+, plus, you escape, otherwise gain a bleeding token. A survivor adjacent may spend an activation. If they do, select one survivor to escape. So you can make me escape? Yes, I am going to Before pull you I out of the poop ball. Before I bleed to death. Yes. So I'm going to go, oh, I spent my action to look at the... That's fine. Okay. Next, next turn. Because that was my action. Okay. So I, I don't have another act till. So Twitch can dash and get to the blind spot to hit it. It's a fresh deck. I think they should. But then they're going to have to dash again because he's going to do baller. But they can regain their survival. I think we need to be aggressive. How are they getting their survival back? They've got Rawhide. Oh, okay, I guess. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to need to dash, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Yep. And he's probably going to still hit me with the damn thing anyways. Um, how far are you, you from getting behind the pillar? I would dash now, get next to the pillar. Yeah. Yeah, and then dash behind it. And then dash behind it, so that way it's going to break the pillar. And then it'll stop on me. It'll stop before it hits you. Yep. You're right. Okay. All right. Yeah, Twitch roll D10 to see if you use your survival. Twitch roll D10 to see if you use your survival. You're in the wrong cheek, too. This doesn't bode well. This, uh, this Dung Beetle Knight isn't being very nice. Nope. They regain their survival. So they're going to punch. So three D10s because they don't want that damn basic action because that is atrocious. All right. So three d tens. They hit on a two plus. It's a small world, after all. Seven one three two hits. Okay. All right. Is there a good one in there? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, baby. Yes, no. Maybe so. Chances of them failing are low. 
So hopefully they don't fail. Theoretically. Josh. What? Uh, it's adjacent to them. Oh, it is. Not gonna You're do right. That. You're right. It it's is. Fine. <laughs> I apologize. So chat roll a d10. Uh, they are going to wound on a two plus. They just crit on a five plus. Just don't roll a one. Just don't roll a one. You're good. And you know what's gonna happen? Nate. Nate. So that's a crit. Gain one random dung beetle knight resource. The monster vomits chunks of boiled resin that hit you on the ground and momentarily form an unhappy face. Gain one strength token. Okay, so they're going to gain a plus one strength token. Okay. Uh, you may spend four survival to chair this moment forever. So they've got a strength token, which means that they can spend a survival to do the devastating thing next time around if they want to. Good. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one, and we are going to gain a sentry shell. Okay? Okay. Cool. And then we're attacking the iridescent back. So, chat, please roll another d10. It's the reflex. Do 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 do. Do we have pottery? Nope. Ah, <sighs> that figures. I mean, a crit would still be nice. And it's a three, so it's still a wound. Okay. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one, and then they're just going to move back seven spaces. Yep. So that makes it they don't have to dash. Why is that? Baller. That's true, actually. That's actually beneficial. Uh, so it's now the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. So the monster is going to perform uh, power forward. So he's going to target the furthest stinky survivor, which is Twitch. Okay. Uh, so now turn to face them. Now Twitch should dash. Bola. Twitch should dash to go behind that rock. So they roll d10. See they use survival. I'm gonna have them roll three d tens. First ones. First, first ones for the survival, and the next two are for the poop ball. Let's see. I actually hope he rolls high. Why is that? Um, so they can grab me out of that damn poop ball. Oh, Cause I'm still in there. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and one. One. So they lose their survival. Lose survival. So they're down to two survival. And then they rolled an eleven for the poop ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that worked out. Yeah. So now the monster's going to draw an AI card. Last AI card. And he's going to do perform ba ground pound, then a basic action. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> so ground pound. Uh, roll a d10. And then Swordmaster is going to attack the closest threat. That's you, Matt. Shit. I can dash out of the way, though. No. No, you can't. Man. He's got 17 fucking movement. Oh, my God. I forgot about <laughs> that. I forgot about that. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you're, not, you're not dashing out of anywhere. You, you were able to dash from the ball. Not from him. Yep. Uh, they rolled a nine. I don't know. What was that for? Oh, the ground pound. Okay. Well, then. So I'm going to die here. So he's going to run all up in my grill. He's going to roll his 5d10. I've got one, two evasion. Uh, so that means that that's going to hit me on a four plus. Oh no, he's got a natural. He's got an accuracy. Yep, it's gonna hit me on a three plus. Good job. Three nine four three one. So four hits for eight damage each. We've only been two. Yeah, if not for that plus one accuracy. Yep, would have been two. So uh, I'm gonna roll four hit location dice. Just one. Head, body, body, head. Wow, that's great. Stellar. I'm going to dodge one of them. I'm going to dodge a head. Good choice. So, okay. I lose all of my head armor. Take a severe injury to my head. I lose all my body armor. Take two severe injuries to my body. Okay. I gain one bleed token from that. All right. First up, I'm going to see what's happening to my body. 
body. Twice. Okay. I rolled a 10 and an 8. So that's a 6 and an 8. Disemboweled. Your movement is reduced to 1. Gain a bleeding token. Skip the next hunt. Broken rib. It hurts to breathe. Suffer minus 1 permanent speed. Gain a bleeding token. So two bleed tokens. So two, two bleed tokens. He ripped my ribs out, and I have one. He ripped my intestines out, so I have one movement. Uh, I have minus one speed. Permanent speed? Yeah. Um, that's my broken rib. Let me just get that in there. And now we have to see what he does to my head. Okay. Good luck dodging the ball with one movement. I rolled an eight. So you're you're alive. Six. That's deaf. You won't hear it coming. Suffer minus one permanent evasion. Gain a bleeding token. You're at you're four bleeds. You're still alive. Huh? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so that's the end of that. It's the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn. I'm going to stab him. I, I don't. I'm going to run to his butt. Oh, I can't. I have one movement. Yep. I'm going to stab him. I have you one can, speed. You can do it from diagonal. Where? I can't see. Because you have reach. That's two. I failed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can Twitch dash and get me out of this thing, please? Can you have them roll a d10 to see if they use their survival? You guys can totally turn this around. Uh... We're all one bleed away from death. We all are one bleed away. No, except we're, for the guy. Twitch is two. Huh? Twitch is two. Oh, I was going to say, except for the guy that's dead. <laughs> except for the guy that's dead. He's, so he's all the bleeds. They rolled a nine, so they, they keep, keep their, their survival. survival. They pull you out they of the ball. out of the ball. So that's good. Okay. Where would you... I'm going to put you here. Or does it go next to them? Um, adjacent to the ball. How about you go here so you can attack the monster? Is that what I want to do? Yes. We need to attack the monster. Josh, we're not going to win by not attacking the monster. All right. So I'm going to attack the monster. You've got a buttload of speed. Uh, I've got to throw three dice. Four. No? No. Two speed. Uh, I, oh, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a natural speed. Um, I'm going to hit with the rib blade. Yep. And so I hit on a two plus. Two plus. Seven, five, five, nine. All right. So what do we got? I see a sentry carapace. No trap card. No two two sentry carapi. Okay. Uh, I do this one. I get to it though. What? So let's do the carapi first. Okay. Sentry carapace. So I have 16, 21 strength. So just don't roll. Just don't roll the one. Just don't roll one. Okay. So you gain a survival. I'm at max survival now. That's good because you still can dodge. Uh, okay. So then you got that. Six. That's, um, fine. that's fine. So you would gain a survival. Max. Next up. Let's do this one. Take these filthy wings. So what do you crit on, Josh? That's uh, crit. A, a, a seven plus. Gain one Elytra, Dung Beetle Knight resource. Yes. Okay, hold on. Elytra. There we go. So the ribbed underside of the large shells. Uh, a survivor may archive this to give all of their attacks in the next showdown sharp. Not that that helps us. Uh, but most importantly here, uh, Broken Wings, when the monster performs defensive spit salve, roll a d10. On the result of one, the monster is knocked down. Instead, on a two plus it walks. Uh, use its normal movement instead of placing. Okay. But doesn't his beetle flight react to broken wings? Yes, it does. Yeah. What, what, what happens? Uh, so what happens there is the monster falls pathetically and is knocked down. Archive beetle flight. So he loses that one evasion and his 10 movement. But he gains a health back, essentially. No, this is archived. Oh, oh, that's good. So bye-bye. Cool. So persistent injury. You keep that in play. Josh reduced the monster's life total by one. All right. Did that. Now, this is side of the resin ball. Ball's not next to him. Just draw a new hit location. Okay. Got another carapace. Yeah, and he is he is knocked down as well. I will three. Carapace, That's enough. You archive it. Archive it. We're good. He's knocked down. 
Okay. I think that's the end of our turn. Yes. So that goes away. Monster Control is going to pass from French Onion to Ramen Freeman. Okay. He gets back up now. Gets back up. <clears throat> We're going to draw an AI no power card. power forward because he's not next to the ball. Motherfuck. The worst possible card. Genius Architect. Do not perform this card. Instead, the monster gently steps on a keystone. The tunnel networks break in just the right places. All survivors are knocked down. Uh, I'm sorry for Bash, rather, and suffer five damage to the legs location. I would move one with my movement at the end of my turn from my leather boots. Okay. I would have done that because I didn't want the ball to come into me. Um, all right. So I'm going to eat this fresh acanthus. For your legs? For my legs. Okay. I'm taking a severe leg injury right now. I rolled a six. Torn Achilles tendon. Your leg cannot bear your weight until the end of the showdown. Uh, I am knocked down whenever I suffer a light, heavy, or severe injury. Gain a bleeding token. And you are dead. Thank you for playing, Matt. Yep. Please come back next week. So this is for ground pound here. And Twitch is also going to take a severe leg injury. Right? Right. Yep. Yeah. That's so great. I'll have them roll in just a minute for that. Uh, this is... I, this, I'm sorry, this is for that injury, and then we'll do ground pound after. Okay. So this is for the leg injury. Okay. Three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. You're dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Twitch. Now let's see where it ground pounds to. Okay. And a six. And the ball's next to him. Okay. It's Josh. It's my turn. It is uh, your turn. Okay. Just, just hit him. Beat him up. All right. I'm going to spend a survival. Okay. I'm going to spend my six freaking strength tokens. To get my attack devastating. Okay. <laughs> and go Hail Mary, Hail Mary. On this guy. Yeah. Because that's all does I can do. It, does it only give your first wound devastating? Or is it each thing devastating? Uh, each thing. Oh, damn. So, so you could do I eight damage I here. I could do eight damage here. And technically kill him. How much health does he have left? Seven. It, it's, it's a slim possibility. <laughs> Don't Super Bowl this. Seven, six, three, five, six. That's four hits. Four hits. One, two, three, four. No trap guard. No carapace. All no woundable flies. locations. One's a parry location. I technically don't have fencing, so I need to crit it to wound it. Okay. The strength isn't an issue for him, Yurks, Bob. Yeah, the strength isn't an issue uh, because I have ten. I have fifteen strength. So first up, you're attacking the filthy face. What are you attacking with? The rib blade. Attack with the rib blade. Okay. Um. So it's I have sixteen strength straight off the bat. So two plus the wound. Mm-hmm. So it's a two. two. So it's going to be two damage. Right. Next up. <laughs> what are you attacking next? Yeah. No, no, no. That's only if you attacked with a club or shield. He attacked with the, the sword. Yep. All right. So iridescent helm. Two plus the wound. The five. five. What so do you need to crit? A seven. Okay. I, I only have three luck. Okay. So five. So you do two damage. Actually, you know what? Uh, since he has a boot in play, he's technically only got two health left because his trait's in play. Okay. So. If I wound this, he's dead. Crit. Natural crit. 
The blow shatters the weapon. You. The attacker gains plus one survival and the regenerating blade rare gear. The monster suffers knockback five and gains a minus one damage token. The monster's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck you, Dark Beetle Knight. <laughs> Fuck you. Everyone else died. <laughs> I lived. Robin, the OG, <laughs> shall not die. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a way to do it. <laughs> wow. Whew. Holy shit. Okay. Now here comes Dark Shell, though, of the heel. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so. Let me go back to the main board here. Uh, let's see where we're at. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> no, this doesn't. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. No, this doesn't work for me. <laughs> uh, we're going to archive his uh, Sword Master card. Yes. Yes, we are. And that's... Plus one or plus two health? That's plus two health. Okay. So if I wound on the last hit location that I drew, he dies again. Yes. All right. So where was the last card I had? Ramen went Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're attacking the untrained parry. So I need a seven plus. Five. Plus the extra. He did give an extra 10 earlier, technically. He bet 35. He gave 35. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um. No one, no, we don't have any rerolls. So, full move towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, the, the attacker suffers bash and knockback 7. I actually want the knockback. Yeah, knockback works for you there. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. Okay. So, it is now the monster's turn. He is going to target you with power forward. This is unfortunate. Because he does this, and then it archives the terrain, and then he's going to kick the ball towards you. All right, I'm going to dash. Okay. So, chat, please roll. Oh, I would have moved one at the end of my turn, because I got one free movement at the end. Even okay. if I got knocked back. <coughs> uh, can you move me five spaces? Down one, the board, two, please. three, four, five. One, two. So it needs to be less than seven combined. So That's statistics are not in my are favor. Are not in your favor. Wow. 18. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Because it keeps going, right? Yep. Yeah. So I lose the survival because I collided the ball. Yes. So I'm at four. And I take how much damage? Uh, that is a great question, Josh. So you are going to suffer five damage to two hit locations. You've got two hit locations where you can take it. The waist and the head. Those are the two hit locations that you can take it. Mm -hmm. I get knocked down with a heavy head injury, but I'll get up again. Okay. Uh, backspin shot. Do not perform this. Instead, perform ground pound in a basic action. Okay. So ground pound. D10. And he does his normal basic action yes. now. He not this do his mean horrific one sword act, sword master one. Um. He actually can't reach you. Good. Am I even a target? Okay, the ball moves three spaces back. One, two, three. And so the then basic? it's going to target the... I'm sorry, uh, basic here is going to target the closest knockdown survivor. So it's you. Okay. But he's got seven movement. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he just goes next to you there. Cool. And then he full moves towards the dung ball. One, two, three, four, five. So he's over there. <clears throat> All right, perfect. So you stand back up. Are you doing your strength thing again? Thinking about it. I think you have to. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's let's do. So this. you're spending a survival, survival to gain a strength token. Then you're spending the survival immediately to gain devastating. Yep. Okay. And then you're going to take a step into left cheek because left cheek's best cheek. Four d10s. You hit on a f what, Josh? Two plus. Wait. Now hold on. Do you want to attack from the blind spot? You might want to miss one. Five. <clears throat> four, so that's... Uh, either way, it's two plus. Okay. Does it really matter? Okay. So two plus to hit. Four hit location. Four dice being rolled. You rolled six, six, two, one. So three hits. Two. Three. Okay. God damn it. What? Another parry location? I got an impervious location. Oh. Uh, Take this first. So first up is the Century Carapace. That's five. Five. So you gain a survival. Ten. Yeah, that's... You, you're fine. You gain a survival. It, it's actually just enough <clears throat> for that. Really? Yep. I thought you had more last time. Oh, you didn't I have all lost your all my buttload of strength, strength tokens. tokens. Yeah. So I'm at three survival now. Um. Next up. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. This one. The Filthy Claws. That's ten. ten. The monster's tough claws spark. The impact surprises both the attacker and the dung beetle knight. They both suffer knockback five directly away from each other. How does that work with the dung beetle knight where he's at? Uh, no, dung devastating does not deal a wound to the carapace. Yeah. Um. You gain a survival. Okay. So you get knockback five. Does he get knocked back five that way? I guess. Uh, he technically go through his ball, I guess. So okay. Goes on the other side of it. Okay. So. He's a space away from his ball. Yeah. He should be. Yeah, he should be one space away from his ball. <clears throat> and I'm up to four survival, somehow. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. It's now the monster's turn. Okay. He's only got one AI card left. Mm -hmm. So we know what he's going to do. He's going to do ground pound, the basic action. Yes. So he's going to ground pound. It's gonna I'm go not even going to bother doing it because he goes directly back to him. Then he's going to perform basic action. So he's going to move seven spaces closer to you. And then, then, run, back and then run back to the ball so he goes there. Okay. And... I'm out of range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, you were out of range of him. But I'm out of range of of getting to him. Oh, uh, you could dash. I could, like, I could, I could dash. I'm just. <sighs> okay. How do we want to do this? Ideally, you should do your strength thing again, and then just try and kill him. So I'm spending three survival. Yes. So I'm down to one. Back in the blind spot. <clears throat> You're gonna hit the, the trap card. Here. Sword is the slowest thing I got. You're gonna hit. The I trap can't. Card. I can't make it any slower. Well, hold on though. It's the slowest thing you got, but if you hit with the shield, you have a chance to miss more. All right. So if I hit with the shield, I have eight plus. Eight plus. I have four accuracy. So it's four plus. I could put you over here so you're not in the blind spot. Okay. Yeah, sure. Four plus with the shield. Punching is worse because it's got more speed. Yep. Four plus? Yeah, four plus. Ten, nine, three, four. So you missed one. One, two. Butt flies. Butt flies. So you're fine because you have the courage. Yep. So this goes away. Then this, you need to not roll a one. No. I only have 11 strength now with the shield. Oh. Uh, so I need well, to hit a nine. Okay. With three dice, though. Yeah. Yeah, you rolled a 10 on one of them. As long as that wasn't yeah. a one. So you're fine. So you gain a survival. I gain a survival, so I'm at two. <sighs> Deep breaths. And then you're attacking the iridescent arm. So how much strength do you have, Josh? 11. So you need to roll a 3 plus. 
to wound. Three plus to wound, yes. That's an eight. That's a crit. That's a crit. If the attacker has three cl- courage... I do. Are you adjacent to the monster? Yes. Do you have three survival? I don't. Okay. Uh, but that is a wound. So you that... had devastating. The monster had two health left. He's dead again. So the monster's dead again. <laughs> Screw you, Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Still made it through. Oh, my God. Did... That's... Oh, boy. I forgive you for stealing our bug. <laughs> that, did Dark heal himself? I thought he couldn't heal himself. He did heal himself. I thought I fixed that too. What did you do, Joshua? I don't know. I got to take a look at it. All right. But congratulations, Josh. You did it again. It wasn't quite as epic as the other one, but you, you did it. So congratulations. That was bitching. That was a good rule three. We should make rule four sometimes when it works. You had one bleeding token left, right? Yeah, I had four bleeds. Oh, my Lord. I, I was. <clears throat> I had a backup plan. If I was going to get that last bleed, I was just going to eat that bug. I don't know if it heals my bleeds or not, uh, but I might have survived. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I, you killed him with a shield bash. I did kill him with a shield bash. Did I hit him with my? F- I did hit him with my fist. Yeah, you did. So I you do. Did. So I get a hun XP. Yep. And I get a weapon. For s- I still need one more. Josh, do you want to do spelunking of death? Fuck no. God no. You it, with this character. No, dude. No. It could be really good, Josh. I want Robin to live. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying it could I'm be really not, good. I'm not doing it. Are you sure? Now, uh, let's say I did. I'm gonna roll just to see what would actually have happened because I probably would have died. Okay, so roll a d10. An eight. You go to the Trial of Valor. A six. At half your courage. Uh, f- up or down? Up. Five. Roll well, again. So 11. Nine. You would have got the Crimson Jewel. Oh, well. Oh, well. Mm. What's it doing, it though? <sighs> Okay, so Josh, we're now going to get seven basic resources. Okay. Six dung beetle knight resources. So our six, and then uh, one skell strange resource, Josh, and three caustic preserved dung. So we got some monster hide, monster hide, monster hide, mystery meat, monster bone, monster hide, and monster bone. Uh, Lump of Anthus is not in the basic deck yet because we haven't triggered the story events to do them. Err. All right. And then we've got... Um, one, two, three... No, it's these here. We've got a lot of resources. Uh, the Scarab Shell. The Sentry Fingernails. Scarab Shell. we got the Beetle Horn. Sentry fingernails. We ripped all of his fingernails out. And a scarab wing. On top of the elytra and the sentry shell that we got before. We've also got three caustic preserved dung resources. Uh, we haven't hit the milestone yet, right? Yep. And uh, one skell strange resource, which Josh is getting now. <laughs> Do we have storytelling? No. Okay. And we got skell. Oh, we have a friend the fresh cat this from earlier. No, I ate that. <clears throat> did you guys get any of the Encore models that came out the other day? I did not. Oh, we did get the Regenerating Blade as well. Um, I would have had to throw it in my gear grid. Oh. And I wasn't doing that. Hey, you just tossed it to the side. So I kind of just tossed it to the side. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so we're going back to the settlement. What does that mean? Uh, we need a settlement event. Yeah. So chat, you know the drill. I think you know the drill. You might know the drill. We and need. Ramen a- gets lost in the mist. We need an SE. Oh, my God. Hunt reenactment. That sounds, sounds like it's going to be wonderful. It could have been worse. Legendary Abomination was next. Yeah. And then Salto snaps. Uh, that already happened, didn't it? Yeah. And this one, so that, that, that can't happen again. Oh, is it a once-in-a-lifetime one? It's a once-in-a-settlement. Once-in-a-settlement. All right. So we need to do that still. Hunt reenactment. Bow, bow, bow. 
All right. So nominate the group's favorite survivor to play the hunter. That, that would be you. Okay. Nominate your least favorite survivor to play the monster. Dead one. <clears throat> uh, so what survivor are we picking to be? How did I die again? I bled to death. The, yeah, you bled to death. Um, everyone here is kind of poopy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Josh is a vertical on the whole junior. Okay. Just because. Uh, so we need to roll a d10. So chat, you know what to do. Uh, we need to not uh, pick one monster from the settlement's list of defeated monsters, though. Uh, DBK. So we're picking the DBK. I'm reenacting the fight I just came back from. That may, you're telling everyone what the hell just happened. Yeah. Like, where did everyone go? Wasn't Raman Freeman like awesome? I rolled a seven. Um, Actually, no. I don't want to use rear on default. I want to use someone who has a reroll used. Because they're worse. Hugh Yakman. Hugh Yakman? Yeah. Huge, huge Yamaka? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Hugh Yakman falls, silencing the crowd with a sickening crack. The survivor nominated to be the monster dies. The survivor nominated to be the hunter sets their insanity to zero. All right. Uh, we need another D10 to be rolled for Gorm Climate. That's okay. This campaign was too silly to be successful. Uh, there I was with four bleed. I killed the monster with an awesome super attack. And then this asshole healed him, and I had to kill him again. I rolled a nine. Nine for Gorm Climate is... Do we have storytelling? Nope. The settlement struggles against the quaking ground, linking arms to brace themselves against the storm. Nominate a survivor with zero hunt XP. Um, Josh is vertical on the hole. He draws determination from the settlement's courage, or draws strength from the settlement's determination, and gains plus one courage. All right, and... Uh, no, I was the one that was struck deaf in the middle of the fight. Ramen is seen some shit. Ramen's been brought back from the dead already. Yes. All right. So we got that up. Uh, no, no one bet for you to win. Nope. No, no wow. one. No one trusted an OG Ramen. Wow. Um. Wow. Wow. Ramen never dies. No. Um, Legends live forever. Technically, but did ramen that never dies. wrong. We were supposed to do. Supposed to do what? We weren't supposed to do hunt reenactment. We're yeah. supposed to do haunted. Because that yeah. one got added to the top of the deck. So. Hugh Yakman's not dead then? Hugh Yakman's not dead. Okay, JK smiley face. It was just a dream. Uh, the survivor with the lowest hunt XP. Uh, Hugh Yakman. Is uh, convinced of a powerful presence nearby. Roll a d10. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Hugh Yakman just had a really weird dream of me beating him up and killing him. Yeah. And? They rolled a five. A five. Do we have Song of the Brave? Nope. While everyone is sleeping, Hugh Yakman bursts into an in incomprehensible song. The whole settlement awakens in tears. Negative one endeavor to returning survivors. Uh, I'm sorry. Negative one endeavor. Returning survivors set their insanity to zero. Okay. I had a set my insanity to zero. We got minus one endeavor. So we got six, seven endeavors for coming back. Now we're down to six endeavors? Yes. That is correct, sir. Friday, Friday, looking forward to the weekend. All right, uh, we're going to do principal conviction. Principal conviction. All right. <laughs> Principal conviction. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the survivors must find a reason to be, treasure the darkness in all its mystery, or seek to master it and grow strong. The group must other master the darkness or treasure the mystery. Master of darkness? 
Master the Darkness or, or Treasure the Mystery. All right, so Josh, please put that pole up right there. And uh, can you please pass me the Romantic and Barbaric Principal cards so I can review them with chat? Do, 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 do. All right, so first up, we got one of the two. Wait, no, Josh. Romantic and... It's right, you just, it's right there. All right, so Romantic is plus one survival limit, believe in the potential for beauty, decency, and ingenuity in others. When you gain a random fighting art, draw three fighting arts and select one to keep. That's pretty nice. And then the next one is Barbaric. Barbaric is plus one survival limit. Believe in the power of human strength to overpower any obstacle. All current and newborn survivors gain plus one permanent strength. So everyone gains one strength with Barbaric. Or... You get three fighting arts, pick one when you gain a fighting art. A fighting art. I feel like fighting art might be more beneficial. What do you think, Josh? I agree. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Treasure the Mystery is romantic. Barbaric is Master of the Darkness. Yes, top is barbaric, bottom is romantic. It looks like romance is in the air. What's your population now? Uh, I have no idea, but we had a lot of people die. It is at 10, and we do have the... Um, what's the principle? Oh, where we get an additional endeavor if we yep. have 10 plus people. For every 10 people we get, we get an endeavor. So we're actually at seven. So we'll have endeavor. seven endeavors. Okay. So make sure that you're voting. If you want to see us pick one way or the other, romantic or barbaric, we'll leave it open for just a few more minutes. As a reminder, though, if you guys are watching, uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway this evening. Uh, Dark Citadel, it looks like, will be the... Uh, the boss to end the stream, so you'll be getting an, a little extra something-something from us. Uh, and you are going to be able to enter the giveaway when Josh puts up the link using your salt that you're earning from watching us live here. Uh, remember, you earn salt from watching live, throwing bits, doing cheers, being a subscriber, all that fun stuff. And uh, finally, if you, are, if you have Amazon Prime, you do have Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. We would love it if you used it on us. And uh, just a reminder that all the money that we're getting from tips and bits and cheers and subscriptions goes directly back into funding the stream and getting more giveaways to give to you guys, as well as uh, improving the stream equipment to up the quality of the broadcast for you. So in the meantime, Josh, it looks like we're going to be able to treasure the mystery. Okay. So we're going to get the romantic... Uh, so we will be going romantic here, and that is going to up our survival limit by one. Whenever we gain a random fighting art, draw three and select one to keep. But in the meantime, life is like a quickly fading lantern. Every precious moment must be lived to its absolute fullest. Josh, add the Bone Witch to the timeline next year. The settlement gains the conviction principle romantic. Find and place the card on the settlement board and note it on the settlement record sheet. After adding to the settlement, roll a d10. So chat, please roll a d10, exclamation mark, roll, or click the button on the extension. You know what to do. And they rolled a four. And a four is the settlement celebrates with an excessive feast. Lose all resources, including the storage. If ten or more resources were lost this way... Departing survivors gain plus one permanent luck and the prey disorder. Okay. So everything... Oh, repeat it one more time. Everything in storage? Uh, lose all resources, including the storage. Oh. So everything we came back with, too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So all those life strings that we got are gone. Oh my god, really? Yep. So we're not innovating this year because we have nothing to innovate with. I was just getting ready to set that pull up. Uh, but departing survivors gain plus one permanent luck. Yeah, that's nice. Ramen's going to get another luck. He's going to be he's gonna be awesome. That's assuming you take ramen next time. I'm taking ramen. 
We we do technically have a reroll. We could use a baby to reroll. But the plus one luck, I'm okay with. I don't think we need the resources. Yeah, I I think. Yeah, I think like, we're it okay. sucks. It yeah. But it's it's not. Um. So a, a six through ten is the other option, and that is nominate a survivor. They gain plus four understanding. And the ability Legend Caller, once per lifetime, on a hunt board space after overwhelming darkness, in place of rolling a random hunt event, use 53 as your result. We didn't bring the regeneration blade back because I didn't have gear, a gear slot for it. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll just have to fight DBK again. I know. We can still try for it. You don't have to try so hard. You don't have to. You sadist. I mean, we don't have to fight a level two next time. So there's that, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure level two would be just as easy as it was uh, this time. Matt, I need you to get the uh, flower book. Night book. The flower night book. We don't have to fight a level two. And at the same time, we actually had atrocious luck at the beginning of the level two fight. Yeah. So there's that as well. So I have the flower night book. What does that do, Josh? Uh... We need to read the uh, Sleeping Flower Virus story of it. <laughs> Necrotoxic mistletoe? No. No? Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was thinking something else. No, no. A warm virus. You got it. A warm virus. Uh, nominate a survivor that can consume to be the host. All right. Twitch, any any recommendations here? Who would you like to consume? So what, what names do we have available here? Uh, we're not going to use Hugh Jackman. Josh's rear undie hole, uh, Josh's vertical undie hole could be used. Mistrone, we're not going to use. Reroll the storage thing. <laughs> you got it. We have to do it. I erased the storage already. <laughs> Reroll that storage <laughs> thing. Too bad, Josh. <laughs> Undo your pencil marks. I mean, I think I can for the most part. Um. It's a six. <laughs> well, fuck. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's still the same, same nope. thing. No, it's not. Nominated no, survivor. They gain plus four understanding. <laughs> Don't cry, Josh. Um. Wonderful diving, Josh. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> I, will, I will fix the storage thing. Oh, that's awesome. Jackman has his no reroll. I don't want to nominate him. Uh, sarcasm has the reroll used. You should probably nominate this same survivor that That's you're That's what gonna... I'm, I'm looking to do. Um, Josh's vertical undie hole has one understanding already. That's good. So this would get put them up to five. So we're using Josh's vertical undie hole, Jr. So this is going to give them plus four understanding. And so they are immediately going to Insight. And uh, on top of that, too, they're also going to gain the Legend Caller ability. So Legend Caller is 53 after Overwhelming Darkness. Uh, I know there's lag, but really, you can see him with the pencil. I don't know why he did that. I had to log out and log back in. I miss getting rid of everything. No, it, you're fine, Josh. That was uh, dark. That was him being Proactive. overzealous with his... Oh, man. So, uh, insight. It's not that bad. I have most of the... I had most of... I know we didn't touch any of our strange resources and stuff, so what I had still, like, barely penciled in. So, uh, they're rolling for insight. It happened during the settlement phase, so they get Tinker. So, it's plus one survival... Okay. Uh, plus one endeavor on returning. So, that's nice. And they rolled a D10, so oh. they rolled a five... And that is plus one endeavor the settlement phase. So we get another endeavor, Josh. So we're eight endeavors. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we had a really nasty Dung Beetle Knight fight. He drew the legendary Master Swordsman card on the first, second, second turn. turn. And our main damaging character was the one that, when critting, defaults him to the basic, uh, basic action. action. And they crit on a five plus. Yep. And everyone died. Josh had four bleeding tokens left did his uh, devastating thing with People of the Sun, 
and it just wailed at him and wailed at him <laughs> and killed him. Uh, he got revived. It serves you right for right, basic things. Uh, yeah. So this was yeah, we lost a person on turn two. Uh, it was that was really rough. Yeah, but but you did it. So there's we, that. We turned it around. We recovered. So Josh's rear undie hold, Josh's vertical undie hold junior. Yes, is then going to get nominated for the warm virus. Yes. So Josh's rear undie hold is going to consume. Uh, the host. So who's the host? Uh, year ten. We're in year eleven now, Zenith. Uh, so Josh's vertical undie hold junior is going to press the virus flower to their mouth. Its delicate petals changing color to match their flesh. A cozy and inspired warmth fills their being as they gently push the flower by its stem down their throat. Down their throat, roll a d10. So Trap, please roll a d10. <laughs> Here's my compliment. Yeah, yeah, we, we've been doing stupid stuff. Yeah, this is new game plus. Uh, Zenith, this character has five natural accuracy, ten natural strength, three evasion, two luck, and one speed. That wasn't even the best character in the fight. Yeah. So they rolled an eight. Do we have sculpture? Nope. All right. Uh, the host vividly describes the warmth to the settlement. Departing survivors each gain plus one courage and plus one strength token. Then welcome the guest. What did you do, Just? Um, it's actually all Twitch because this used to be the character, and they ate a bu So they summon bugs, and then they eat them all. Um, so when you put ten bugs on a map, and then you eat them all, and somehow don't die... You, you gain really stupid abilities. It gets abilities. a little stupid. Yeah, in the best way possible. I, I don't know how Twitch has those those odds <laughs> for the bugs. I mean, a little bit of re-rolls, too, but at the same time, they roll really well on them. Yeah, they, they, <clears throat> for the most part, they roll well. Uh, as the flower is digested, a virus enters the host bloodstream and travels to Josh's rear undi vertical undihole junior's brain. Josh's vertical undihole junior experiences a state of euphoria as viral genomes are injected into the cells of their prefrontal cortex and pallium. Josh's vertical undie hole junior feels as if a satisfying itch within their skull has finally been scratched. That sensation is the last thing they experienced as their original self. The host's brain is rewritten, replacing the sum of their life with that of the guests. The host loses all fighting arts, disorders, abilities, impairments. Then they gain all of the guests' fighting arts, disorders, positive attributes, weapon proficiency levels. They do not gain the guests' abilities or impairments. The host may choose to keep their name or take the guests. I think I think they want to become Roman Freeman. Junior? They should have the junior. They should keep the junior Roman Freeman Jr. Yeah. Okay. So Zenith, you're about to witness a really dumb survivor right here. Roman Freeman Jr. Alright, so they gain all of the guests fighting arts. So Bug Harvester. And fencing. Uh, disorders, so shallow lungs. Rear undie hole freeman. Squeamish and entomologist. Uh, positive attributes, so they gain them. They don't replace their current ones, so yes. they stack theoretically. Yes. So... That also removes the negative attributes that they receive for this. Uh, yes. Because they're technically two separate things. Yes. So they were blinded, so technically they should have eight accuracy. Okay. They were contractured. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. They had a broken rib, so that's the minus one speed. And then they... That's that it. That's it. Just guess what the contractor does. So, contracture. Let me switch over to that real quick. Boom, 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 Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Boom, 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 boom. Contractor's minus one permanent accuracy, by the way. Roses and clothes. Oh my god, I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> I love it. So much. <laughs> my milk shah brings all the bugs to the yard. And they're like, it's better than your. Damn right, it's better than your. I can teach you, but I have to char. Char. <laughs> Mathos, or did you want to add That's a amazing. settlement event or anything? or? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to do 25 more videos. Hey, there was a why didn't alert. I get a thing? You did. Yeah, you got the Mr. Sandman. Yeah, it went. Uh, can we get the full version of Matt singing that song? I can maybe do something up. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do an event. Okay, okay, so we'll do that in just a second. So contracture is another minus one accuracy. So okay. transferring the positive attributes over, Raman Freeman Jr. is going to have five movement, nine natural accuracy, 13 natural strength, eight natural evasion, two natural luck, and two natural speed. That's just dumb, Josh. It is dumb. Uh, they are also going to gain weapon proficiency levels. So they're going to be level one with a club. And they're also going to be a master in fist and tooth. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is really, really dumb. He's not even a warrior of the sun. No. And he's got legend caller, too. So he might get that's the mask one, right? Which number is it? 53. Think so. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you did kill. You him. did kill him. Unfortunately, he just, he just came back. This was the sleeping virus flower character. Yeah. So no, th this wasn't my character. That's my, this is what Twitch was playing as. Yeah. So that happened. So there's. You just need to go get another sleeping vi virus. Yeah, pretty much. Just go find a level three flower knight and get another. Pretty much. Mask maker, mask maker, make me a mask. Buy off my name. <laughs> what was my name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so they asked for another settlement event. Correct. So chat, please pull us another settlement event. S E, please. Exclamation mark. S E. Dismembered skeleton. Woo! Uh, I think they need to roll D10. I no return to females. Ah, uh, yeah, it might might not do anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Zenith, we haven't got a copy of that yet. So if you can send it over, then we do redact it. Yeah, send us the redacted hunt event, please. Or settlement event, please. Wait, is Raman male or female? I think, I think Raman's male. I think Raman's male. Raman's male, yes. No, yes, no, yes. Raman's male. Dismember skeletons. <laughs> yeah, yep, only see. returning female survivors. So we'll we'll roll another one. I think we should roll another get another one. What do you think, Josh? Sure. It's about beep in the belly of an angel. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Um, let me just... In the belly of an angel. Something about the monster's sad eyes as you killed it moves you. It just wants to live as you do. Maybe you don't need to kill everything you find in the darkness. Maybe you can be friends. Returning survivors gain the pity disorder. The settlement talks about mending its ways of trying to spread peace, not violence. Choose a returning survivor. Uh, Raman. He's the only returning survivor. They immediately go out into the darkness to make friends with the monster. This survivor cannot participate with the endeavors, and they leave the settlement with all of their gear on. Yay. <laughs> uh, when you begin the next showdown, the monster is thankful for the settlement's generosity. The monster and its new friend you sent are now quite inseparable, and this friendship has greatly strengthened the monster. The monster begins the showdown with an extra D5 in health and gains any non-gear-related positive attribute modifiers its new friend had. The monster, weighed down by the warm feeling of friendship in its belly, suffers minus one movement. If the monster is defeated, the survivors may regain the lost gear the monster's friend gave it. <sighs> well, we have a better ramen now. Well, you're boned. Yeah. Is that even possible? <laughs> that was totally worth the $25 donation. <laughs> Thanks, my Antos. Uh, so uh, he's going to have plus five accuracy, mm -hmm. uh, plus 10 strength. Strength is allegorical to damage. Yes. Yes. Uh, plus three evasion, uh, plus two luck, and plus wood speed. Sorry, how much evasion? 
Uh, three. Only three, thankfully. But plus five accuracy. And plus ten damage. Plus ten damage. Is right. um, yeah. Okay, I know how to beat this. Is uh, it level redacted? one flower knight? <laughs> So, level one white line next week it is. Flower Knight. Because of the luck? Because uh, level one Flower Knight is easier than yeah. white line. <laughs> wow. Uh, sni- snip it with arrows. Good snipe of arrows. And we lose ramen, essentially. We can get him back. We can? Yeah. How? There, we have a roll at the end that I didn't add to the show. Oh, yet. okay. Um, and we lost um, the Ripblade and the Leather Armor set. I'm going to cry. Right now. Yeah, this is different. There's two ramens. So a little bit of backstory here, Zenith. We had the original ramen. Yes. Who was amazing. Got the sleeping virus flower. Died. Came back as Ramen Freeman. Uh, he, then, he knew game plus. He knew game plus first. Yes. yes. Then... Came Got the... He had the Sleeping Fire Fires, New Game Plus. Then right. he died. Right. Then ra- Came back as Ramen Freeman. Morgan Freeman ate his flower, became Ramen Freeman. Correct. Then there was a hunt event. And then the, sleep fire, event then the Flower Knight came back and got the Sleeping Flower Fires again. So Ramen Freeman got the Sleeping Fire Fires. That's how he just died now. Correct. And came back. Right. And the first part of it, though, is that Ramen got resurrected by a special settlement event that we had. Yeah. So that's why Ramen was back. Yeah. So then new Ramen, Ramen Freeman, died with the new Sleeping Virus Flower yep. and was resurrected as Ramen Freeman Jr. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the rise of the food zombies happened. Yep. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Um, I need... Because Twitch... I need the Xanax happen. after this stream. Jesus. So, yeah. Um. I think that's going to end it for today, though, Correct. I don't think there's anything else that we have yeah. to do. <laughs> Boss to be the silly story ever. It's no King Kingdom Hearts, but it's, it's pretty, pretty convoluted. convoluted. Oh, God. Anything else, Josh? No. Well, let's just do a soft sign off for now. All right. Well, these Saltos couldn't come back to destroy this element. That's, that's true. So thank you all for joining us this evening. This is going to conclude today's presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Please join us next week at 8 p.m. Eastern time for our continuation when we go into Lantern Year 11. Yep. And we fight... Uh, Some hard monster. We're going to fight a true abomination uh, fueled on ramen. Um, So make sure you join us for that. If uh, uh, Please join us for all of our other upcoming streams. So tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to be doing our... Board Game Gauntlet, where we try to find who the best gamer at Twist Gaming is. Josh is going to be the defending champion. And we are going into play what, Josh? Keyforge. Keyforge. I'm excited to see the names of the cards. Yeah. Uh, Then moving into next week, uh, tentatively, we don't have anything yet for Monday of next week. Uh, It could be a spotlight. It could be a board game gauntlet. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll let you guys know. Uh, and then Tuesday next week again is the Kingdom Death, and then uh, we'll let you guys know what's going on with the board game gauntlet next week as well. Uh, if you are watching on video on demand and you didn't get a chance to see our stream yesterday, our spotlight of 1001 Odysseys, I definitely recommend you checking it out. Ton of fun, choose your own adventure style game, uh, which is live now on Kickstarter. So I'm going to throw that link up into chat for everyone. And a big shout out to Asmati Games and 1001 Odysseys for sponsoring this stream and all of this week's streams. If you're watching On Demand as well, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button on the YouTubes and join us live for your chance to win a bunch of different things in the giveaways that we do seemingly daily here at Twist Gaming. Uh, The more you watch, the more chances you have to win. You get more salt, which is used to buy tickets, uh, with watching the stream, donating, tipping, and just being a subscriber. If you've got Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. And then finally, if someone could do the table command, we're in the middle of our table drive. Uh, we are al- about 30% of the way towards getting a brand new stream table, which will complete this awesome renovation that we've got going for the stream room. Uh, we are super excited. Carol- uh, Carolina Gaming Table, going to pick it up s- as soon as we get it funded, pretty much, really. 
That's the idea. Uh, and then finally, follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and chat with us in our in- or Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel. Where? Uh, we'll be talking about my shield bash to death, and then me running off to go hug monsters. Absolutely. Josh, is there anything else that you wanted to say this evening before we sign off? Thanks for watching. Thanks for Join watching. Join us next time. Join us next time. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone. Good night.